What's going on guys, Brian with Submen's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. In this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, March 20th, 2019. Now I do a lot of comic book and pop culture related videos on this channel. So if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. Great week for comics, DC, Marvel, Indies, all have a bunch of great titles coming out. A lot of comics that took a break for Image are coming back with new arcs, so I'm happy to see that. Let's just head over to the video right now and I'll show you what I got. We kick this week off with Invisible Kingdom number one. This is a new monthly ongoing from Dark Horse that tells the tale of two women, a young religious acolyte, and a hard-bitten freighter pilot who separately uncover a vast conspiracy between the leader of the system's dominant religion and the mega corporation that controls society. Batman number 67. The nightmares continue as Batman chases a new foe who keeps beating him at every turn. Is that because the man under the mask is someone more familiar than he knows? There's going to be a regular cover by Lee Weeks. There's also a regular price variant by Dave Johnson. Damage number 15. Batman has banished Ethan Avery to an island where monstrous beasts and creatures roam. The only problem is, those are monsters around the clock and Ethan can only be damaged for one hour a day. Luckily, Congo Bill serves as the island's caretaker and he's given Ethan a quick lesson on how to avoid becoming a light afternoon snack for a hungry fiend. Justice League number 20. This is part two to the sixth dimension. The leaguers come face to face with their future selves in the sixth dimension and explore the path that lies before them. There's three different covers for this. There's a regular Jorge Jimenez center cover. There's a regular priced Jorge Jimenez right side variant and a regular priced Jorge Jimenez left side variant. Naomi number three. In this issue, Naomi confronts the one person in her small town she's convinced knows the secret of her adoption and her obsession with Superman. This title has been picking up a lot of steam. There's been a lot of news that DC plans to do a lot with this character. So her comics are definitely popular right now. So I'm going to continue to pick this up. Nightwing number 58. The Joker's daughter is back, or is she? But Rick's trying to help steer Duel away from the life of homicidal zealot of the crazy clown prince of crime. There's a regular cover by Chris Mooneyham. There's also a regular price variant by Tyler Kirkham. I like the Kirkham cover for this. Teen Titans number 28. This is part one to the Terminus agenda. The hunter becomes the hunted as Robin and the Teen Titans set out to end Deathstroke once and for all. This is going to have a regular cover and a regular priced variant for it. High level number two, tasked with smuggling the savior of humanity through thousands of miles of religious cults, mutant tribes, war zones, sunken cities, and cybernetic mafias. The woman known only as 13 does what any sane person would do and try to get out of it. Dungeons and Dragons, A Darkened Wish number one. This is from IDW Publishing. When war threatens the Moonshine Isles, legendary heroes return to defeat the forces of an unthinkable foe. The forgotten realms are changed forever as young wizard Helene and her friends grow from raw recruits on the streets of Mentarn into powerful warriors. This is going to have four different covers. as a regular Tess Fowler cover, regular price character sheet variant, a 1 in 10 Ibrahim Suede variant, and a 1 in 25 Tess Fowler variant. Bitterroot number 5. As an unspeakable evil ravages New York City, the last of the Serene Jerry family fight just to stay alive. But with Cullen missing and presumed dead, hope is fading fast, both for the family and the fate of humanity. Four different covers for this one. There's a regular Sanford Green cover. There's a regular price Ben Oliver variant, a regular price Mike Damundo variant, and a regular priced Afua Richardson variant. Criminal number three. This is part two to the longest weekend as Jacob's weekend taking care of his old mentor takes a turn for the worse. This is great pickup from the 2006 Criminal series. It's also been a really great read since Killer Be Killed has ended. So this is taking its place in my reading pile and fantastic story. Farmhand number six. It's back and it's starting a brand new arc as transplant recipients flood the streets of Freetown. Jedediah Jenkins does the only thing that makes sense as his life works begins to implode and that's go fishing. Middle West number five. Now, if you're not reading this series, you're really missing out. Scotty Young's been doing a great job, and Mike Huddleston on the regular covers has been absolutely fantastic. Definitely check it out. If you're not reading the floppies, at least pick up the trade when it comes out, but I'm definitely looking forward to picking this up. Monstrous number 21. It's a turning point in Maika's life when she comes face to face with the stranger from her deep past. 
Avengers No Road Home number six. Marvel continues the weekly epic as Wando Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, travels back with Conan to the Hyborian Age. This has got five different covers for it. There's a regular Yasmin Putri cover, regular price Phil Noto connecting variant, an incentive Jim Chung variant, an incentive Patrick Zercher variant, and an incentive Alex Ross variant. Avengers number 17. In this issue, we find out who's going to be the new Lord of the Damned as the Avengers versus Ghost Rider and Blade takes on the Shadow Colonel. There's going to be a regular David Marquez cover. There's also a regular price Lee Garbett Spider Man Villains variant. Guardians of the Galaxy number 3. With a new Thanos rising, the galaxy calls for a group of heroes who will use any means necessary to end the threat. Unfortunately for Star Lord, that's not the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a regular David Marquez cover. There's also a regular price cat variant. Mortal Hulk number 15. Dr. Leonard Sampson is a gamma mutant and part-time superhero who recently came back from the dead and he's here to discuss it with a Mortal Hulk. There's a regular Alex Ross cover. There's also a regular price Alex Ross Marvel's 25th tribute variant. A lot of people are buying this up now. Great story combined with FOMO and this book is flying off the shelves. Marvel Spider-Man City at War number one. This is a series based on the hit PlayStation exclusive video game. It's going to have six different covers for it. There's a regular Clayton Crane cover, regular price Giuseppe Camicoli Spider-Man Villains variant, an incentive Gerardo Sandoval variant, an incentive Tim Seng Marvel Games variant, an incentive David Nakayama Sinister Six variant, and an incentive Adi Granoff variant. If I can get any of them, I like the Adi Granoff, mostly just for personal collection. Love the red cover, love Granoff's work, so that's the one I'm trying to pick up. Meet the Scrolls number two. This series has the same type feel as Tom King's Vision series did previously. In this issue, Master Warner's latest mission brings her to the most dangerous place imaginable, a slumber party. It's got three different covers for it. There's a regular Marcos Martin cover, regular price, now Fuji cat variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive Raza variant. Savage Sword of Conan number three. Between this title and the Conan the Barbarian by Jason Aaron, I've been enjoying both of them, so I'm going to continue to pick these up. In this issue, Conan descends into Stygian catacombs in search of a mystical treasure. We have a regular cover by Alex Ross. There's also an incentive 1 in 25 Carrie Andrews variant. Spider-Man Life Story number one. 1962 Amazing Fantasy 15 came out. At that time, 15-year-old Peter Parker Bitten by a radioactive spider, became Spider-Man. 57 years have passed in the real world since that event. So what would have happened if the same amount of time passed for Peter as well? Well, this story is going to tell us. Normally, I'd be like, hmm, don't really care. But it's written by Chip Zdarsky, so I'm all in. This is going to have three different covers for it. There's a regular Chip Zdarsky cover, regular price Scotty Young variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive Greg Smallwood variant. Thor number 11. This is one of those titles that I've been picked up ever since Jason Aaron's been writing on it. So I continue to add it. It's more for reading, just for my pleasure. Not much speculation to it at all, but it's going to have two different covers for it. There's a regular Michael Domundo cover. There's also a regular price Now Fuji cat variant. Venom number 12. Once the worst nightmare in New York's criminal element, Eddie Brock has been living a nightmare of his own, cut off from the symbiote's personality, and now dealing with the resurgence of the cancer that once ravaged his body. We have a regular cover by Ryan Stegman. There's also a regular price Ryan Stegman Spider-Man Villains variant. Dark Red number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics. Any horror comic written by Tom Seeley's got my attention. Vampire comics are making a comeback. We got these Savage Shores from Vault that's really, really good. Now Dark Red we're getting from Aftershock Comics. I can't wait to read this. In fact, this book is going to be my pick of the week. We're going to have a regular cover by Aaron Campbell. There's also an incentive variant by Larry Stroman. I absolutely love the variant on this one, so that's what I'll be picking up. Appalachian Apocalypse number three. This comes from Cave Pictures Publishing. Zombies resurrect in the body farm of a local university and wreak havoc throughout the area, attacking citizens and laying siege to a hospital. Blessed Machine number one. This is also from Cave Pictures Publishing. Jacob, son of administrator Anna, is revisited by the recurring dreams that plagued his youth. He believes the dreams indicate that the Earth's surface, once rendered uninhabitable by horrific malfunction of the Large Hadron Collider, is now safe. But can he convince those who live underground with him? And at what cost? Honor and Curse number 2. Nishiro sends Gishi on a mission to an abandoned cottage in order to spy on Kogo soldiers 
and discover any plans they might have to attack the Aiga. Upon his arrival, Genshi is caught by surprise by Lady Yua and her gang. Is Lady Yua too much for Genshi? Or will Genshi embrace the spirit haunting his nightmares? Knights of the Golden Sun number 5. This is the second to last issue of this series. Lucifer convinces Azrael after regaining his memory and is surprised to see that Azrael is openly defying the laws of nature and the word of God with her latest abomination. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, March 20th, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know books you guys are picking up. Let me know what your pick of the week this week is. Also, every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a live stream on this channel where we recap all the week's hottest comic book releases, first appearances, variant buzz, reader buzz. All this is done with my good friend Jack DeMeo, a.k.a. Mr. Bolo. So make sure you check that out. Just remember, it's your collection, your money, buy what you like. This is Brown with Some Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.